Now that we've set up our password and logged into the site editor, let's quickly tour the interface. We highly recommend using Google Chrome as your browser for editing, as it's far superior to other browsers when it comes to using online applications like this. One thing to note is that your interface may not look exactly the same as mine. It's possible for you to have more or less menus depending on the site design and the editor settings. On the left side, we have a variety of menus that control specific elements of your site. These options control big site-wide changes such as the creation of new pages or blog settings. On my site here, my left menu presents store and blog options, but this menu may not exist at all depending on your site settings. Along the top, we have a couple of options that you'll need to know. First of all, we have a drop down. This allows you to navigate between different pages on the site. So if I click the drop down and I select the studio, it's going to bring us to the studio page on our website and from there we can make edits. We can also select an individual device and edit that layout. So I can go to the studio page on my mobile device and then from there I can make edits to the mobile layout. On the top right, we have a couple of important options. We have an info button that has some settings and some stats links within. We also have two forward and back arrows. These are the undo and redo options. So if you've made a change to your site that you don't like, you can simply undo it by clicking these buttons. Next up, we have a preview button. If we click that, this allows us to preview our site on a variety of different devices. You can see that the menu here changed and we could click to preview on our desktop device, our tablet, our mobile and different variations of mobile devices such as iPhone or Android, or we can view our site on all screens at one time. To exit the preview mode, we just need to click back to editor. Another button on the top bar is the republish button. Basically what this is going to do is push any changes that you've made to your site live on the web. So you can make as many edits as you want to the site and nobody's going to know until you republish the site. When you're happy with those changes, just click the republish button. You're going to see this box appear and once it's done republishing, all your changes will be live on the web. Let's close this window. The last two options on the top right are this info or help icon. This is going to bring up a documentation library with some additional information for you if you need help with the editor. The last button we have is the home button. This will bring us back to our dashboard where we can see all of the sites we have editing access listed. I currently only have access to one site, so it's the only one listed here. Let's jump back into the editor. And that's a quick look at our interface. In our next video, let's talk about how to edit specific elements on the site like text and images.